everyone. Welcome to Rico's Reading Room. Today, I'm going to read a book about ocean pollution. Enjoy. Ocean soup, a recipe for you, me, and a cleaner sea, by Meg Pincus, illustrated by Lucy Semple. From afar, the vast ocean appears pure and clean. How it sparkles and shimmers! A beautiful scene. But dig in a bit deeper, and test a small scoop, and you'll see that up close, the sea looks more like soup. Ocean soup has been stewing. For decades of days, it's been simmered by sun and congealed under haze. Many chefs made this murky confetti-like brew, a concoction of habits that bubbled and grew. It began when a new crop of products first came, used by folks unaware they'd be later to blame. They drank coffee from styrofoam cups topped with lids, and bought single-use bottles to hydrate their kids. Out to eat, they grabbed heaps of containers and straws. And at stores, they took throwaway bags without paws. They used microbead soaps, wore synthetic attire, and for parties, they blew up balloons to inspire. Do you wonder how all this produced ocean soup? How was such everyday habits made saltwater goop? The real problem is plastic. It's all in that stuff. Whether hard or elastic, that plastic is tough. Once it's made, any plastic is with us to stay. It's on Earth till forever. There's no real away. People throw out their plastic and think that it's gone, but most dumps overflow. Excess trash just moves on. Much ends up in the sea, turning round to five gyres, the huge saltwater whirlpools, where breakdown transpires. As time passes, the gyres turn to plastic to specks, which then can't be cleaned up. Causing endless effects. Once the plastics pereed in the gyre's mighty waves, it spills out as a soup that no animal craves. Yet it's gulped by the dolphins, the whales, and the seals, and it's slurped by the fish, and the plankton, and the eels. It's in icebergs, in inlets. The deep ocean floor. It's snatched up by the seabirds, the turtles, and more. Ocean soup fills the bellies of all in the sea, and if we eat fish too, is it in you and me? Are you wishing those chefs had not cooked up this mess, that the known one-use products would cause such distress? It is time for us new chefs to enter the scene with a recipe crafted to get our seas clean. First, we call on the makers. Go straight to the top. Tell them all of this plastic production must stop. And then we practice new habits, preventing more stew, with reusable items and natural ones too. This won't always be easy. We'll all have to think. To remember our bottles and straws when we drink, and to carry cloth bags and choose all cotton clothes when we're offered new plastic, less yeses, more noes. Ocean soup may have simmered before we were here, but the call for us all to pitch in rings out clear. We will need many chefs to help clean up the sea. Starting here in our kitchen, with you and with me. The end.
end. Thanks so much for listening to my reading. I hope you liked it. Please hit the subscribe button and have an awesome day.